Hi, it's Dennis Daly with your daily news update. Many people who were provided with temporary trailer housing in Texas in the wake of Hurricane Ike now say they are being pressured by FEMA to leave. One resident told the Houston Chronicle that her life has been, quote, a nightmare for a year. A nonprofit group working with Ike victims says FEMA caseworkers are failing to advise trailer residents of the assistance they may get. More than 3,700 victims were in trailers at one time. When you think of San Francisco and transportation, you likely think of cable cars, but the city by the bay has an extensive network of underground light rail trains called the Muni. The system boasts a very long tunnel, the Twin Peaks Tunnel, that connects the commercial downtown sector with the sprawling west side, which is largely residential. A train derailed in that tunnel, knocking out the automated control systems for the entire area for a while. The accident happened during morning rush. Nobody was hurt. A new report says hundreds and possibly thousands of children in the U.S. get sick every year from contaminated food in school cafeterias. USA Today conducted the survey. It says that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found 470 outbreaks of foodborne illness during a five-year period. 23,000 children became ill. The publication says to make matters worse, many cases of foodborne illness are never reported. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.